la 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 Jabari, uh, let's go What's up? I'm out here in New York. It's a beautiful day right now. It's about 2, 3 o'clock. Waiting on my man, Young Diggy Simmons, to come through. Yeah, man, this is a, this is a very, very special edition, man, because I have my man, Diggy Simmons, with me right now. Yeah. What's going on, man? Man, chilling, living. Wine like wine. Yeah, I know, man. There's so many of my friends in, in the in the industry and are artists, but they're like in their 20s. Some of them are in their 30s, man. But you have already accomplished a lot, and you're what 15? Yeah, it's crazy, you know. Um, having met so many people have embraced me, coming from you know the show. And then keeping those fans and then, you know, having people that are like, man, I don't even mess with Run's house, but I mess with his music, yeah, you know, yeah. and then, you know, all those people carrying on and then in almost like such a short amount, period of time, you know, the grind went in, you know, signing and doing so many things like 106 and Park for me, just signing in the major look freestyle. Yeah. It, it's, a, it's amazing and mind boggling and I just, you know, I'm, I'm thankful for, for every second of it. Yeah. What, uh... What are, what are some of the things though that you 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 miss out on? You know what I mean? Because this it takes so much, man, with this game. Like, what is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Do you have that normal childhood experience? Um, honestly, I mean, up to even even shooting runs house, I had that because you know me. Um, I always went to normal school, like public school, my whole life until this year, me getting real busy, you know. I don't have, you know, this would have been my first year in high school, but instead, you know, it's like, you know, like the first time, you know, first flight, you know, just for everything. And I'm, I'm enjoying that a lot, you know, even though I'm in homeschool, it's, it's beneficial to everything I'm doing. So I, don't, I feel as though I'm not missing out. I'm just doing what I love, you know, which is just crazy. I know you're friends with the little homie Justin, yeah. you know, Justin Bieber. Is it is it pressure to see like and and Jaden is also young, he's a little younger than you guys, Jaden yeah, yeah, Smith. Correct. Is it pressure from you uh, with them or is or are you guys all kind of like a, a support system? No nah, man, I mean it, it, it's motivation. I mean I don't honestly I don't know um, Jaden personally, but you know it is kinda like sort of like, you know, from little twist to um Def Jam artist Aaron Fresh that's blowing up. It's dope. Because it's like, you know, like, young generation takeover. Yeah, yeah. Singers and rappers, you know, and actors. It, it's amazing and it, it's motivating at the same time. Because it's like, yo, you know, he's doing this thing. It makes me feel like I have to go harder, you know? Yeah, yeah. But it's amazing. It's not even like nobody's knocking each other in the, you know, as it's going on. It's just, you know, everybody even embraces each other to keep going, you know? Right now we are at Blast Off Studios is where I record a whole lot of my stuff where I'm recording Airborne right now. The classic to be. Yeah. <laughs> yes sir. Well by the time this is out, it's out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I hope everybody's enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? So what's the difference when you're like now in a big studio? Well, I recorded at home a lot and when I got signed to Atlantic, like that day they were like, you know, um, step up three soundtrack, you know, they really want to get something in. And so, you know, like the next day, they had me in the studio doing something. Yeah. And so I just really felt the vibe of this studio. You know what I'm saying? And I just kept coming here mm -hmm. to just do other stuff. And then when Airborne came around, I'm like, wow, this sounds way more efficient, mm -hmm. you know? And so, shoot, I, I love it here. And, you know, they got cool dudes here, Frank and Joe. Oh. And, you know, we just get it in and we work. <laughs> His work ethic is crazy. I mean, I've been going to his house for the past week. We went to his house last week, and I was there from like 7 p.m. to like 5 a.m. every day, just going hard. And I almost fell asleep, and he's still going at it. I mean, he's a star, man. He got the personality, the look. I mean, his, his drive just in terms of everything, he's so positive. So I think that's his biggest, his biggest quality, his positivity. Stopping on you, little. It's the D to the IG, uh, 
the new beat to the IG. He Say wants to learn, like, yeah. it's not, I'm going to do it my way. Like, he takes criticism from everybody, and I think that's very important. A lot of artists don't like to take criticism. I think he needs to improve with his flow, but we're working on that right now. And he's very receptive to everything. So. Cause they calling me sick, so I'm like rubber tussing. I hear you coughing, treat you often with freestyle. And as I'm walking, people talking, they sing now. And I don't rap through my A's like little bear well. Son of a king, so why would I ever bow down? Young lyricists, uh, yeah, I be killing it. You hearing it, the words of my mouth, fresh and experiment. It's no experiment, independent appearances. Wait, did I'm appearing? I did it without my parents. I feel like anybody can always get better lyrically. Like you've seen crazy lyrics, you know, lyricists over. Time, you know what I'm saying, and I can most definitely improve and get better cadences and flows and wordplay, you know. But uh, I'm thankful that people are embracing me, you know. And even though I'm young, they put me in the category of older cats. Yeah. yeah. So that's a blessing, you know what I'm saying? Because nobody necessarily even had to brace, embrace me into hip hop, period, because of where I came from and you know their notions of what I was gonna be. But, you know, a lot of people. Dig the dig. Yeah, you feel like you're surprising people now? Yeah, it's a good feeling. Yeah. You know, I and people, you know, I was like, man, why you always got to talk about, you know, like, you know, what you go through, you know, with your family, and, you know, how people don't believe. And I'm like, man, because it ain't over. People are still skeptical. And how, why am I going to stop when I'm still feeling this inside of me? You can't tell me to not express that I'm mad that people won't take me from me yeah. and not, you know, what they saw on the show. If I'm still feeling that inside, I'm gonna say it. Like I said in this joint as I am, I said, just looking around at all the people that surround. None of them was with me though months ago, but telling me now the way that I should go about or the things I should put out. When it's expression to me, you can't tell me how. The ways, the ropes of being the D I double G Y, the little. That's known to be fly, but a lot of the time he just gotta swallow his pride. Despite of all the people that's making them feel deep pride. Like, I'm still feeling that because people are still skeptical. Yeah, yeah. Tell me a little bit about how, um, let's start with Pharrell, how this guy influences you and, and what you learn from him because it seems like you're following right in his footsteps, man, with the, with the, uh, the clothing and the music and everything. I mean, he gives, he gives me advice all across the board like a big brother. Like, it would be girl advice. It might have been like four years back when I met Pete. And, um, you know, just like a young kid, just, you know, inspired by everything that he was doing. And, you know, now he's looking at me now like, yo, you know, you're making this happen. I'm so proud of you because what he teaches is, you know, that you can do anything and you can be anything. You know, shoot to the stars and all that good stuff. What are you aspiring to? Uh, to, to be? Yeah. Um, man. I guess just take it, take it to the highest point that I can. You know, beyond what anybody's ever seen before, beyond any Jay-Z or beyond any Run DMC. How could you tell real people, you know, who wanted to be your friend just because you were a cool kid, and then other people that wanted to be your friend just because you're on Run's house or, your, or who your family is? It's crazy because, I don't know, it's like, I, it's like this instinct, like, I just know it off the top, and you know, who just what people's intentions are. Just for me, you know, just growing up in it, you know, from being real young. We started Run House when I was nine, eight, you know, and those things, you know, just come at you, not with an age, you know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, he's ready, let's go, you know? People, any age, will come at you and try to be a friend for whatever reason. So, you know, you kind of can just tell, you know, how people are, and if you don't, you know, you feel them out. And you know, I don't want a whole lot of friends for the fact that, you know, people are just so shady, you know what I'm saying? And shoot, I don't I don't really keep around anything negative. So you know it's not like you know, I just have my you know couple boys that I chill with, you know, that's just what it is. Here's a watch, a wallet, and uh, and a belt for you right there, man. Absolutely, absolutely. Yo. Biggie Simmons, man. Watch out for him. I mean, I know you're already checking him out, but, uh, but this kid's gonna do it. This kid's definitely gonna do it.